Bamba yetu yulie mbenguni Hello I am Warden Wilson Matua of the Three Sheets National Reserve Whiskey bottles die every day Three Sheets to the Mouse was created to meet the global challenges of sobriety It is my job to tell you that only with great debauchery and adult language can you be in harmony with nature that is why i ask of you all of you sin nudes Hello everybody and welcome to a Three Sheets Quickie. Trent and I are here and tonight we're talking bad fast passes. So sit back, relax, grab a drink, and enjoy this quickie with Three Sheets the Mouse. So Trenton, tonight, what are you drinking with me? Uh, I'm going to open my second Budweiser of the night. Right there. Um... Being American, it's it's Memorial Day weekend, Scott. So I'm going to uh, MDW. Yeah, gonna gonna get after it. It's also left over from watching uh, Deadpool two. So um, you don't quite get that reference yet, but hopefully you will soon once you get a little bit of time to to man up and go see a movie. Once it comes out on Cody, then I'll go. Oh, then I'll watch it. It's probably there right now. Probably, but it's it, you know what they it takes about. A month and a half for those to yeah, get a good copy. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. I'm just giving you a shit. But the thing is, you, you won't get the reference about the Budweiser until you fully see the movie, which is... Well, I, you know, I just did see... Well, first of all, uh, we'll, we'll talk movies in a second, but tonight I'm drinking some Glenn Farkless 12. Uh, it's a single malt from Highlands. It's really good. It's all kinds of smooth citrus and f- fruit notes. It's awesome. I recommend it. Highly recommend it. Citrus and fruit notes, huh? Yeah, you get a little bit of lemon peel, a little bit of apple and pear. It's a lot of, like, the Speyside whiskeys have all those, like, light fruits that uh, that are classic to the area. Yeah. yeah Apples, yeah. pears, and stuff like that. And uh, it smells really good. Uh, it's just a really crisp, light, friendly whiskey. And green grass. kind of sounds like something that I would like, actually. You would you would actually really that's, like that's that's more my if you, if, speed. That's definitely this is definitely right up your speed. If you see it in the store, Glenn Farkless, they make a 10, a 12, 17 and 21. I uh, honestly the 10's good too. If you can find the 10, hmm. uh 10 and 12 are about the same price, so I I would just go for the 10. Really? Or go for the 12. All right. Well, um really interesting scott so mentioning movies so speaking of marvel movies yes, yes, yes. i saw guardians yeah it's one of if not my favorite i know i know i know four years late you know look it was it was very good it was uh magnificent seven seven samurai it was a it was a classic uh western film where outlaws band together and uh, save the town, right? Just on a galact- on an intergalactic. Level. But it's. <sighs> but, I will say, I think, the reason it was so good in my mind, was the music. Well, the actors. I mean, Chris Pratt is, admittedly hilarious. Um, well, I so, so I've never I've never, never got into Parks and Rec. Never really cared for it. It, was he good in this? Yes. I think he played a good, sarcastic superhero. He's funny. He's got the jokes. He's, he's throwing it back to Gamora. I think uh, I mean, Dave Bautista as Drax is awesome. You can't really tell. I mean, Bradley Cooper is... Um, oh, you can tell. You can tell it's his voice. I A little bit. It's really fucking just... It's, it's manipulated to, the, to no end, though. 
if you ever if you watch the episode or the episode <laughs> the movie where he's like a chef he's basically an american gordon ramsay i can't remember the burnt i think was the name of the movie you could tell it's him it's uh he's good i i honestly i really appreciated all the cameos uh glenn close uh john c Riley, um uh James Gunn was in it the director James Gunn was in I it I truly believe you're going to like the second one better and only because I like the first one better um but I do think that you as a movie goer and and somebody that I know personally will like the second one better maybe I I just look it was a it was a typical western set in the set in space it it wasn't <laughs> It wasn't anything new and novel. Um, I get what you're saying. It, 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 there were no plot twists. There were no surprises. But it was a fun movie to watch. It was a really fun movie to watch. Do we want to do a top three? We could. All right. But that's a that's an interesting segue. Well, you go first. Just you just cut it off. Yeah. Top three what? Marvel movies. So far that you've seen, which is not so far that I've seen. All right, so top, really top crazy. number three, number three would probably have to be Guardians. Okay. And again, again, it's not it's not the plot. It's not anything. I I think the acting, as as I've said all you know the last ten minutes, the acting is good. I liked the actors. I liked all the cameos. The music was great. I think that was its strongest point is that it's not just uh, Hans Zimmer and John Williams score. It's fun songs that you could sing along with that this Memorial Day weekend. I am. You can bet your ass I'm playing some electric light orchestra. I wish John Williams would make an orchestra for my life. No, you'd definitely be Hans Zimmer. Much darker. Why am I dark? <laughs> Much angrier. Uh, maybe Patrick Doyle, actually. Patrick Doyle, much much angrier. I don't know what that means. I feel offended. I feel like I should be offended. <laughs> you gotta know composers, man. Yeah, don't do that. Um, so so are, we, are we taking turns doing our, our three, two? Okay. So, so you're number three. My number three would probably be uh, the f- Guardian's Two. I haven't seen it yet. It is on my list. Cor- I'm I'm doing this thing where I found this website that says how you watch them in order of how things happen in the MCU. So that's where I'm at. Guardians Volume Two is next. That's on Netflix, by the way. I know. So yeah, so yeah, that'll be that'll be my next uh, next movie, followed by Avengers: Age of Ultron and then Ant Man. Your number two. My number two would probably be the original Avengers movie. Okay, I can get behind that. It was good. I liked it. I lo- You know what I like on that one is the interaction between Tony Stark and Bruce Banner. Really like that. I like the interaction between Thor and Bruce Banner. Well, that too. Thor is great. Um, Thor is my favorite... Thor has been my favorite superhero since I was. It's my favorite superheroes are Thor, then Deadpool, and, and that's interchangeable. Really, it's it's a one A one B situation, mm-hmm. and then I really, really, really like the Hulk. And the Hulk doesn't get a lot of love, but um, I know he's not glamorous, but it, it's always been a thing that that you know people are like, oh man, don't don't make him angry, and it's not it's not something that I take pride in because I don't like being mad. Um, but <laughs> it's um, it seems to have been a, a stigma that's that's kind of stuck to me. So yeah. So my number two. Uh, while while I definitely agree that the first the Avengers the first uh first one is really good, I think my number two has to be Captain America: The First Avenger. Um, <sighs> really liked that it's one. It's just so. But it's got blah. it's got Howard Stark. I know it's got Howard Stark, it's got uh, you know the '40s. I don't know. I really liked it's... it, and I love that old. I love the old Captain America uniform that looks like 
it was handmade and it was just put together I from get scraps. It, but that whole movie is just so. I just feel like it's yeah, like that... your granddad's fucking superhero. I movie. know you hate old things. I didn't say that, and I don't think it's a bad <laughs> movie. It's not a bad movie, and this is where I always catch all the hate in the group. Is that everyone's like, oh, but he doesn't, he, he doesn't think it's good, or he doesn't say it's better, so he fucking hates it. I don't hate it, guys. I don't think it's a bad movie. It's just, it's not. I mean, look, it's got. If it's on TV, I'm stopping on the channel and I'm watching it, but I'm not paying money for it. I mean, it's 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 awesome. It's got Hugo Weaving and uh, Tommy Lee Jones. And let let me tell you something, Peggy Carter, <sighs> Haley Atwell. Yeah, like yeah, I get I get what you're saying, dude. She's beautiful and she's a great actor, and it's it's amazing, and the movie's good, but it's not top three worthy. I'm sorry. I don't know, man. That that, that to me is that to me is number two. All right, so you're number one. Uh, Deadpool the original. Uh, it's that to me is not it's the perfect mixture of humor violence superhero uh origin story it's got the whole package uh, it's good but i mean that's uh, i don't know i i don't consider that to be the MCU that you know we know and love. I mean, it's. It, I know it's Marvel. It. But we haven't talked about any of the X Men movies, have we? That's more of an X Men movie. It's not. Well, he fights with the X Men. He has he has no want to be an X Men at all. I know, but he fights with the X Men. Colossus was an X Men. <laughs> yeah, and this is where you need to see the second one. Um. He also makes fun of the fact that Marvel won't pay for more than two X-Men to be in the movie. Oh, I'm sure. And it's... It's just my style. And I don't know if it's it's a... It could be a... An indication of of my age or my, my mentality. But it's got the humor that I like. It's got the violence. It's got the superhero-esque-ness. It's got the... Saving the girl. It's got the, you know, it's, it's great for millennials. It's the full package. Yeah. I, I mean, I I thoroughly enjoyed Deadpool. Even though I don't, I, I don't like T.J. Miller. He's not my favorite. Yeah, I'm not. I'm indifferent. I'm indifferent. I I enjoyed Deadpool. I really did. It was. It was fun, uh, but uh, but yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not like uh, I I don't know if it, I don't think it would be top five for me. It's it's just one of those things that yeah, it was between that and putting the original Thor. I mean, I loved the original Thor. That fight, yeah, that, that fight with just... the ice giants at the beginning is so fucking sick. The original Thor just barely stays out of my top three. See, here. And, 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 and he's so cocky, and he's just so, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just love that that I'm a, a fucking big dick motherfucker ass guardian. And also, he's making everyone's fucking. So, that's the one thing with Thor is that the reason somebody's like, oh, a, Thor, a new Thor movie came out? And I'm like, yeah, why? She's like, no reason. But I just know that Chris Hemsworth <laughs> is just... It's, it's crack for ladies. I, I get it. I get it. My number one, it, there's no question about it. I've spoken about my favorite Avenger. Uh, and if if Three Sheets Nation was ever to have an Avenger in the group, it would be Iron Man. Because Tony Stark is a genius. He's a playboy. He <sighs> drinks good whiskey. Drinks good wine. He's one of us. To me, Iron Man One is the best of the best. So it's just 
Iron Man 2 is better than Iron Man 1. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, the origin story of, like, how cocky he is in a Humvee in Afghanistan, riding around with soldiers, and he's got that's, a drink in his that's hand. That's the preemptive to his character, though. I that's know. That's not who he really is. But it's, that's who Tony Stark is. But it's not. It is. It's, it's, he stays no, that it's way. Who Tony, it's, he stays cocky That's who as all Tony shit, Stark man. is. That's not who Iron Man is. But, uh, okay, the, yeah. Tony Stark stays cocky throughout the entire thing. Right. Iron but, Man is cocky. But, Iron Man, in, in the Avengers, Iron Man basically says, yeah, yeah, your plan is shit. My plan will work. Let's do it my way. So your number one was what? Iron Man 1? I mean, my honorable mention is Thor. I really liked Thor. Uh, right up there. Uh, Avengers is right up there. I I like that one. The the first. Avengers I didn't movie. like Age of Ultron. Yeah, from what I heard, it's not great. It's it just it drags on. I mean, it's not bad. It's just it it it's very. Oh, that's gonna happen next. That's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. It's like oh. No, I mean, like, if anything's predictable, it's that movie. I'm sure. Well, I mean, all those, like, again, they're superheroes banding together. It's it's not a novel concept, but still. I Look, I'm excited for Guardians 2. Well, I'll watch that, I'm sure, sometime over the holiday weekend. I've skipped over Thor Dark World. Thor Dark World is n not awesome. I mean, I only watched it because I love Thor, but it's not, like, I watched it because I love Thor, but then afterwards it's kind of like, yeah, this could have been... Mm, so, let me... Completely what avoided. Is, so, have you, you've seen all of the... You've seen all the movies so far, right? Not really, no. I haven't seen Ragnarok. I haven't seen Spider-Man. All right, so let me tell you some of the ones I'm not interested in seeing. One is uh, Ant-Man. I gotta uh, be honest. I don't. I don't like Paul Rudd. I've never seen it. I lo so that's the difference. I love Paul Rudd, but I've he's I've annoying. Never, he's not funny. Uh, Ant Man doesn't seem like an interesting character to me. No. Oh look, I can get um, real small. Okay, Dick. No one cares. I'm not entirely interested in Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is awesome. You should definitely watch Doctor Strange, especially because it's on Netflix and it's free. <laughs> I am excited for Spider-Man Homecoming. I think one of my favorite superheroes is Spider-Man. Well, as evidenced by my Halloween weird. costume. Spider-Man's really a big wiener. So, but definitely Doctor Strange. You should take the time. It's it's free because you have Netflix. I'm assuming you're a regular American that has Netflix. Um, yes. Doctor Strange is... It's not free. But it's definitely worth watching. You're already paying for Netflix. So, Benedict Cumberbatch is... If you like Tony Stark, Benedict Cumberbatch is going to make you come in your pants. Well, I mean, he does. He's British. He's a cocky piece of shit. Have you ever seen Sherlock? No. I'm talking about this movie, Scott. I'm talking about Disney-related things. Benedict Cumberbatch's character as Doctor Strange in Doctor Strange is the cockiest, richest, fucking just... Just okay. You definitely need to watch Sherlock. I don't want to. You would really like it. You would really like it. Why? If you like Doctor Strange, trust me. Why? Watch Sherlock. It's on. It's on ITV or BBC. I think it's ITV. BBC. Yeah. Uh, you know but I think it's on Netflix. Uh, British Broadcasting Company. Oh, is that what it is? I had a totally yes. to different answer. I'm sure you did. <laughs> Sherlock is really, really good. You would like it. So, you would really like Doctor Strange. I feel like you should watch... That's another one I feel like we should get on PlayStation chat and talk while we while we watch it. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, it's, 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 it's produced by BBC, BBC One, uh, BBC Wales. Uh, definitely go watch it, man. I think you'll like it. I think it's on Netflix right now. Uh, I know that Spider-Man. Pretty Homecoming sure it is. is. Okay, so uh, so let's go let's go to a little bit of Disney. Um, since we since we've spent twenty something minutes talking about Marvel here, right, right, right. Uh, so everybody makes fast passes. What? 
what would be your three fast pass don'ts? Like absolute, you know, Stacy Aswad. Yes, that's her name. Uh, Stacy Aswad has the must do's. The the must do girl on your resort TV. Yes. Is right, Stacy right. Aswad? I, I, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, what are your don't do's for fast? Uh, my passes? my number three. So, so would def. Well, let, well. Let, huh? Yeah. Start with start with your absolute three. You're not doing. Uh, any fireworks show. Fantasmic, Illuminations. I'm not spending number one a fast pass on a firework or, or or end of the night spectacular that I have to literally get at what eight fifteen between nine o'clock eight fifteen and nine o'clock. So I can get three fast passes and be done by one at the latest, and I could maybe yeah, well, still that's... score one for a later show. And that's what I was gonna. I, I was about to ask. Would you use your fourth fast pass on it? If I had already done my my first three, say I get my first one at nine, which is what we normally do. I get my first one at nine, second one at ten fifteen, third one at eleven thirty, and then say we do a fourth one, a fifth one. I mean, you can keep going. If there was one available, and I knew I was gonna be fucking around in Epcot or Hollywood so, Susie in the night. Maybe, but I, I I don't see a necessity for something that you can watch from a general admission standpoint. Yeah, I I would I would definitely agree with you there. I think any of the fireworks shows are uh, fast pass is a garbage idea. Yeah, garbage idea. Absolutely. Even even in studios. Well, now now here's the thing: if you've burned through your four your three fast passes for studios, which you can easily do, because there's only four rides. Uh, would you use one at studios for Galactic Knights or Phantasmic? Yeah, Galactic Galactic Knights or Phantasmic. Uh, if I was already burned through my three and I was getting another one and it was late enough, um. So this depends on the length of my trip. <laughs> is my is I my would, trip nine I would days say... and I have time to just fuck around in Hollywood Studios and not worry about trying to go to another park on that day? Sure. I would say then for if it would be worth it for for Fantasmic only because you won't have to line up for the show and wait in line. Yeah, yeah. Um, Galactic Nights, no, because you could you can sit down at Min and Bill's Dockside Diner, have a great view. Just of don't eat there because you'll the, shit your guts out. No, no, don't eat there. Um, you can have a great view of the fireworks. Be right up close to feel the heat and grab a beer at Man and Bill's Dockside Diner. No, yeah, no, and it's not. It's not something that I, I don't want people to get the wrong idea. I wouldn't not watch these shows. I just am not spending. A no, fast you're not fast pass. No. Uh, so number three for me. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna hate me for this. So this is a tier one fast pass. Okay. Mm-hmm. In Epcot. Mm-hmm. And that's frozen ever after. It's, you know, what's funny. And I normally would have said you're an idiot and called you an idiot and kept telling you <laughs> you were an idiot over and over again. But this, <laughs> this last trip in April, we got a fast pass for frozen ever after at eight thirty. At four o'clock in the afternoon, and that mm-hmm. might have been dumb luck, and we might have been just in the right place, right time. I looked at my phone at the right time, and I held my mouth the right way. But um, it's a great ride, and it's it's one that I don't know if you've ever done. Hmm. I've done it, and that's why I don't think it's ever fast path worthy again. Um, no, I'm not fast passing it anymore after I've already done it. No, you're. I, I completely 100% agree. If you've done it before, it's not worth fast it, passing again. But I do think it's a phenomenal it, ride. I, I'm not taking away from the ride. Um, no, no, and that's and that's not what I'm saying here. I'm saying as a tier one. Oh, absolutely. Epcot, where, where I would I would gladly fast pass Test Track or Soarin' yep. over Frozen Ever After. The thing with Frozen is uh, you can go on that at 8:30 at night. And that's when all the kids are already back in their hotel rooms, so the the, the standby line is 
like 20 minutes. Or if or if you get an extra magic hours open till yeah. like 11, yeah. you can definitely ride that without uh, too much of a wait. And and this and the standby queue is amazing. So I don't hate you for that. I don't. I don't. I mean, yeah, it's strategery. Yeah, I mean it's 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 not a bad ride, and if you feel like hanging out in Hollywood Studios or uh, Epcot until, you know, ten. I mean it's yeah. You don't need to fast pass that. If at all. if this was tier two, if this was Epcot Group B, um, I would say it's worthy of a fast pass because you're not wasting a top tier on this. No, I mean it's it leads right into my next one. So, so what's your next one? Um, Spaceship Earth. Oh uh, man, I gotta disagree with you here, and I'll tell you Spaceship why. Spaceship Earth is very busy when you first come into the parks. When the when when mm-hmm. Epcot opens in the morning, it's fucking insane. But by the time it right. gets to and one two o'clock, the shit's ten fifteen minutes. And here's why I disagree with you here. Yes, you can you can you can walk on later in the afternoon when it's ten fifteen minutes. However, if you want to knock out your three fast passes real quick. This is one where you can get a fast pass very early in the morning. Do it. Because this is one, if if I'm in Epcot all day long, this is a ride, Spaceship Earth, that I will do, I would do four or five times. I love Spaceship Earth. I would ride this four or five times. It's just not... A day. I, I don't dislike the ride. I, I get it. it. It's not one that you would wait more than an hour for. But if you're in there at 930, get a fast pass and knock it out and knock out your fast pass so you can get your fourth one. Yeah, but when well, everyone's, but when everyone's waiting an hour, when I'm in Epcot, I don't give a shit where my fast passes are because I'm just going to walk around and get drunk. Well, I know that, but uh, but I'm saying that's why I, I think this is a fast pass worthy ride. Because you can you can get a fast pass when it is a sixty minute wait, and and trust me, I've seen it in April with a sixty minute wait. It's crazy because it's an Omni mover. No Omni mover should be sixty minutes. No, it's ridiculous. No, and it it's not worth that wait though. Mm. So it's, it's Spaceship Earth. What we're talking about, Spaceship Earth is not worth more than a thirty minute standby line. I'd agree with that. It's I'll wait because you can wait around. You can wait around and go back when it's died down to thirty minutes, if not less than that. Especially, especially during illumination. Switcher number two. You Scott. can find. You can walk on. Uh, number two. There's no reason to do this whatsoever. Fast pass or just walking into the the theater, and that's Voyage of the Little Mermaid. Mm, I thought you were gonna say Muppet Vision, but. Uh, that, that, that would have made that would have nearly made the list, but you know what, Muppet Vision, I don't mind walking into and sitting down for the pre-show. Uh, it's not the worst 3D movie ever, but you know, Muppets just don't but do it. But Voyage of Little Mermaid and Muppet Vision, and um, there's several other shows that 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 all pretty much fall into the same category of what you're talking about. Not only should you not yeah. fast pass them, you should not even fucking watch them because they're bad. Well. I mean, there's there's certain shows that I think uh, are worthy of doing. Um, I, I think you're probably referring to like Disney Junior, kid kids. Yes, no kids. Yeah, da- da- skip it. It's not it's not gonna even be even with threatened. kids. You got to sit on the floor and fuck that. Yeah, but the joy you get of seeing your kids face. Light I up when I, I watched my niece and nephew do it. It wasn't that special. Uh, it's not your kid though. Right, niece no. and nephew is not your kid. Scott, I don't have kids, not, so that's the closest the I have, and they weren't even that stoked. Yeah, Ethan, Ethan was stoked about it. It's it's just uh, it, uh, there, voy- there's a lot of voyage. <laughs> you just bring up a valid point. There's a lot of shows that aren't worth, and and this is and this is why it's so tough to do a top three, because you bring up the, uh, a solid point that even Festival of the Lion King isn't worth fast passing because you can get a seat. Yes. Beauty and the Beast, don't fast pass it. You can get a seat. Especially because that takes away from your uh, Toy Story or Rock and Roller Coaster. Don't fast pass the Nemo musical. You can get a seat. Now, if you want to fast pass Indiana Jones and get in there sooner and sit down because that shit's hot as fuck, I almost, <laughs> yeah, I, I almost totally agree with that. 
because standing in line for Indiana Jones is less fun than a sandpaper sandpaper dildo. Yeah, especially because if you're doing Hollywood Studios and you can get your four, uh, I would I would probably do Rock and Roller Coaster, Star Tours, Tower of Terror, and then uh, if for a fourth one, I would probably do Indiana Jones. Yeah, I mean, standing in that standby line for Indiana Jones... Oh, yeah. It's It's hot. like, I could either stub my toe real fucking hard, or stand in that standby line, and it's like, eh, the, the toe thing sounds more fun. Yeah, see, people, people think Animal Kingdom's hot. Hollywood Studios is just asphalt. It is an entire park of asphalt. It's like standing in a fucking parking lot. Yes, it is. Mm. All right, so my number one that you should not do. Look, I'm an old soul. I am. I like vintage things. He's bougie, is what he's trying to say. No, it's not. It's not yes, bougie. Yes, I just like. I, I like. I like nostalgia. But I have never, and I don't think I would ever, fast pass small world. No, that's. So stupid. Again, it, yes, it is a it, it is filled with kids and fantasy land goers from like new or from like ten thirty onward until about six o'clock. But if you plan that right, you know, especially during family dinner time between like five five o'clock and six thirty, you can walk on with maybe a ten fifteen twenty. It's minute also miserable. No, it's not miserable. It is I love the insufferable. No, I love the ride. I love Small World. I love the song. Again, Trenton, I'm nostalgic. It's it's part of who I am. But I'm not fast passing it. I got you. It's um. No, I mean, I get what you're saying, but. <sighs> Also, meeting Talking Mickey Mouse. Don't fucking do it. No, definitely not. Um, <laughs> I only agree with you because which you, which I don't. You can't anymore. I only agree with you because I don't think anyone should ever do Small World at all. Um, if you've done it once, that's enough times. Oh uh, no, I see. I see. I love the ride. I do. And this is again the reason it's number one is because I love the ride. I it's a it's a must do for every trip, but it is not a must fast pass. Spend your fast passes wisely. So, my first one was going to be... It's tough to be a bug. But I'm going to lump that into shows. Don't yeah. don't fast pass shows. There's enough seating where you can get on a standby wait and maybe wait 25 you minutes never, max. You never have to do shows. It's... There's not a bad seat in any of the shows. There's not. And th- and that's I guess that's what I'm trying to say is there's not really a bad seat. And if you go in if you get there within a reasonable amount of time for a show time it's it's whatever. Um mm-hmm. So this is going to really throw you off, Scott. Um my number one that you shouldn't fast pass is flight of passage. Um, that that does throw me off, and I think you're gonna get a lot of hate mail on that. If you do, why would you not fast pass? If you it? do it at the right time, it's gonna be about an hour at this point. Okay, and the but queue he, the- is fucking incredible. Okay, but on the on the flip side, when you go to Animal Kingdom, they finally broken that park up into tiers. I gotcha. There's only two rides in tier one. Well, Navi River Journey. Definitely don't fast pass Navi. I feel like that was going unsaid. Don't fast pass that shit. Because don't ride that shit. And Flight of Passage. So if you're going to go there, you got to do one of them. I mean, I would. what I would say is fast pass Navi, but also get there at park drop and, and or rope drop. That, and makes, grab that it. makes more sense. Yeah, grab but it and I then do the a fast pass I guess the point of what I was trying to time. say is, is that if you get there at the right time... Or stay at night until the right time. The and, and this is solely because yes, it's going to still be a long wait. At at minimum, 
60 to 90 minutes at minimum. absolutely and and but the 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 interactiveness and the just the theming and and this is one that I've I've only waited in seen by for one time me and Stephanie waited with my father-in-law Stephanie's father and her one one of her twin sisters and it was the most fun we've ever had in a standby queue. I mean, it was, it's so crazy good. And if I could meet Joe Rody right now, I would kiss him on his fucking mouth and tell him how fucking great it was. Because that man is a genius. There's, there's plants, there's bioluminescence, there's interactivity, there's animatronics in the fucking standby line. It's one of those ones that I... I only put this at number one because I want people to see the standby line. And don't get me wrong, I fast pass this shit every time I'm in Disney. I mean, I, I fast pass the shit out of it because we commando the fuck out of it. But the standby line is something that if you've never done Pandora, it's definitely worth fast passing the Navi the first time you do it. Mm-hmm. The river journey, and then trying to kill a good time on Flight of Passage. Yeah, I, I mean, this next trip coming up, we've uh, obviously this is our first trip since Pandora opened. Uh, we intend on fast passing both of them at some point, just because we want to make sure yes, we do absolutely. It. After that, again, you, you got to remember tra- tra- travel with a mini- miniature human here. And he's not yet tall enough to ride any of the the big rides. I got you. So for us to go on Flight of Passage means we have to fast pass it and stand by queue. Right. No, no. And, and, or, or fast pass it and ride swap. I have a feeling that you're taking what I've said the wrong way, Scott. No, no. I, I no. I totally get what you're saying. What you're you're advising people to do is get to rope drop and grab that and get it out of the way, and then go to another park where you can enjoy three fast passes. Right. But my thing is, is make your fast passes at Hollywood Studios for 11 o'clock, 12, 15, and 2, and try to rope drop Nobby in the morning, so not only do, or Flight of Passage, so not only do you get to see the standby queue, which is fucking incredible. And, th- and that's the only reason I say not to, to fast pass. Like I said, I fast passes every time. And, and this is a, kind of a devil's advocate almost pick. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I get it. I get it. The the queue is so crazy. Like that that Navi and that or the Avatar in that tube, the animatronic that's in the water that kicks around and moves. It's a little creepy. I, it's it's fucking insane. It's real. It's almost scary. You're right. It's almost scary. It's a it's it's a lot creepy actually. <laughs> like it, at some point. It, you kind of feel like this zombie apocalypse is going to break out of the tube and come kill the guests. So if 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 I'm getting a realistic number one, I guess would be anything in Magic Kingdom because Magic Kingdom is the worst park in Disney. Uh, first of all, I'm going to disagree with you there. Peter Pan's flight. If you want to get on it without waiting, if you it's have a, a child pass. under the age of seven, then Peter Pan's flight. Yes. If not, you're weird. I'll see. See, we talked to a thirty. We know, 42-year-old man on the show, and his favorite ride is Peter Pan's Flight. It's no big secret that Magic Kingdom is my least favorite part. Well, you know, that that will eventually change. I don't think so. Eventually it will change, trust me. I mean, honestly, to me, nothing is more Disney than Magic Kingdom. And I get what you're saying, and I get that at the same time. But when I go to Orlando... And I'm in the world. Let us let me ask this way. Let me ask it this way. Would you go to Disney World and not go to Magic Kingdom? Yep. If I had three days. If you had three days, you're skipping Magic yep. Kingdom? Three full yep. days. Three full yep. days. Three full days, no park hopper. Uh. You're skipping Magic Kingdom? Yeah. Yeah, uh, definitely not. I, I, that's you got to stop in Magic Kingdom. You got to do. You got to. Which Magic one are you Kingdom. skipping then? What, what, if you have three days and you're skipping one, which one are you skipping? If you if you right say now, Animal Kingdom, when I see you in November, I'm gonna punch you right in the throat. Right now, Hollywood Studios. 
still punch you in the throat, but good choice. Post, post, uh, post Star Wars. Magic Kingdom. It's Magic Kingdom easily. No, post Star or post Star Wars. I'm skipping Animal Kingdom. You're dumb. What? You're dumb. What? E Why? Everest is the best mountain. Kilimanjaro Safaris is your son. I'm sure he loves animals because he's a regular child. Yeah, but e Everest is great. It, Pandora is fantastic. But but here's the thing: my favorite rides are all in Magic Kingdom. I don't. I didn't ask what your Haunted, favorite rides were. Uh, okay, Ethan's favorite rides are still all in Magic Kingdom. What? Uh, Pirates Haunted Mansion. I mean, if there's any any trip, one day, one day. I feel like you can't go to Disney even in one day and go and not go to Magic Kingdom. I get so that's what this is what's so tough for me because I I do I'm not saying and this is where everyone always fucking tries to bite my head off. <laughs> I don't not like Magic Kingdom, mm -hmm. but as as an adult with me and Stephanie going to Disney, if we had three days, we probably wouldn't go to Magic Kingdom. Uh, even again, even at with without Ethan, I think if I'm there for three days. So we're going to Animal Kingdom because we're going to Pandora. We're riding Everest. We're riding Kali River, and we're doing Dinosaur because we love we both love Dinosaur. So then we're going to Epcot. We're drinking around the world. We're eating because we love food. We're definitely both foodies. Oh, Ep first of all, Epcot's a given. That's absolutely happening. Then we're, then we're going to Hollywood Studios because we both we love Star Wars. I mean, obviously, we have Star Wars tattoos. We're big Star Wars fans. We're doing – Stephanie loves Tower Terror, and Rock and Roller Coaster is, if not my favorite, top three rides in Disney. So I love Splash Mountain, and I love Big Thunder, but that's kind of the draw for Magic Kingdom for me. All right, so if, if, if it's me and Andrea alone, okay – Yes, she loves Dinosaur. She doesn't do Everest, so I'd have to go on that by myself. But she will do Seven Dwarves, and she will do Big Thunder. So I can go on those with her. That's why, to me, I just I just think that you can't do a Disney vacation without any time at Magic Kingdom. One day, two days, three days. If, if I'm there for like a day, if I'm literally in Orlando for a day, and I have nothing to do... Ooh, that's actually... If I'm if I'm You're no kids by myself, going Epcot. I'm going to Epcot. If I'm no kids with Andrea, I'm probably going to Epcot. If I'm with Ethan, I'm going to Magic Kingdom for the one day. With a kid, that's a little different. I don't have kids, dude. I know that. I know that. Two days, it's Magic Kingdom and Epcot, no questions asked. My kids are going to like Animal Kingdom. I'm sure they will. But they're also going to love Magic Kingdom, as all kids do. I love – so – and that's the thing that I don't know if a lot of people on the podcast know or listening to this podcast know. Me and Stephanie could go to Gorilla Falls in the Maharaja Jungle Trek for – between both of them, four hours easily. Well, of course you could. I just – I would rather spend the time in Magic Kingdom. I, 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 I don't know. I can't not do Magic Kingdom. So, Scott, if me and you, just the two of us, were going to Walt Disney World for three days – which three parks will we go to? Well, we're definitely going to Epcot. We're 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 just we're just broing out for three days. <sighs> All right, so three days. Okay, you're gonna go to Epcot, and then you're gonna go on a. I mean, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a, a long day. So that's why I say the second day would be Magic Kingdom because then you can chill out and mellow out. And listen to me. Wait, hold on, hold on. Don't shake your head. Don't shake your bearded face at me. Your beautiful bearded face at me. You're going to go to Magic Kingdom for the day. You're going to you're gonna close that out around 7 o'clock, and then you're going to go to resort for dinner, and then you're going to go to Disney Springs and drink later on that night. But And then the, and then the third day, because I know you and I'm a giving person, we're going to go to Animal Kingdom. Do you skip Hollywood Studios? I did, because honestly... If you were a giving person, we'd skip Magic Kingdom. No. No, because I gotta give a little to me too. <laughs> but you gotta re you gotta recover because if you don't recover, Trenton, you're throwing up on behind the scenes. Oh my god! It's all, it so, all in the beard. What what three rides are we doing in Magic Kingdom then? 
All right, so three rides we're, we're doing in Magic Kingdom. All right, are, are three fast passes for that day? Based on what you know that I like and you like. Okay, we're definitely doing Splash Mountain. Yeah, clearly. Okay. Right. Probably not going to get a, a Pirates fast pass because... You don't need one. I'm, st I'm still mad about the Redhead I don't thing. think we need one. We're going to grab a Haunted Mansion fast pass because that if you're going down to Disney World, we got to ride my favorite ride. Yeah, well, I mean, once, um, once again, not one that I think you need to get a fast pass for, but no, but if but you want to make sure, it helps. If, especially especially on a very very short trip, we're not going to make sure you hit your yeah, you hit your favorite rides though. And then number three, if you say Space Mountain, I'm going to choke you to death. No, I I, I don't love Space I Mountain. I hate Space Mountain. It hurts. Personally. I like I like it because it's in the dark and it's fun, but uh, it hurts. That's what that's what kills me is that. It's in the dark, so it's not that invigorating, and then it also makes me piss blood. So yes, Kid but but you won't get a kidney stone. Yeah, because you're just <laughs> pissing your whole life away. I would say you probably try and get a uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train because it's still a good ride. It, yeah, it's short, it's family friendly, but it's still it's still a pretty good ride. If you don't like Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, I want you to post in. The Facebook group, so I can argue with you and tell you how dumb you are. Well, I would say, I would say, also right up there is Big Thunder. I like. That I just also love Big Thunder. Wars. Yes, that was also an acceptable answer. Yeah, those those are the those are the three. I also, would Scott, or four out of three. Not popular opinion. Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Spin. Also an acceptable answer there. Mm. Because that regular line is already bad enough. I mean the fucking the the the, the fast pass line is also dog shit. Yes, it is one of the worst queues in Disney. But the quicker I can get through that shitty queue and get on the ride, the better. Plus, I'd like to compete with you. I, I, I'd like to. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like you to close your eyes. Not while you're driving. Don't close your eyes while you're driving. Oh, I thought you meant me. If you're in the car, <laughs> no, it's a little Ellen's energy adventure joke. Um. It, close your eyes and think of yourselves in, the, think of yourselves in the in the queue in the standby queue for Buzz Lightyear or the Fast Pass queue. It doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. When they have those planets on the wall, one of them is literally a picture of peas blown up into the shape of a planet. I'll post a picture of it in the group. It smells like old sweaty testicles. It smells like cattle. Awesome quickie tonight. Uh, a lot of fun discussing some Marvel movies, discussing some fast pass strategies, uh, some fast pass don'ts. Um, a lot of fun. So Mike, uh, so Mikey's got some new shirts at Magical Meltdown. Go over there, check them out. Uh, some glassware. If you want to enjoy the Three Sheets uh, Memorial Day weekend, which we're gonna make a thing uh, every year, uh, go over to MagicalMeltdown.com. www.themagicalmeltdown.com. Make sure you put in t the because otherwise magicalmeltdown.com you won't find it www.themagicalmeltdown.com go over there find your glassware find what you want to drink out of and come drink with us because that's the best way to have fun on Three Sheets Nation now the, the best way to also make sure your friends see us is go on iTunes and give us a review tell us how much you like us tell how much you don't like us but mostly tell us how much you like us and, and, and give us a review put, put five stars on there Tell us that you love us. Tell us who you like the best as a host. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Um, tell us if you like Scott's hair. Tell us if you like my beard. Uh, and also subscribe to the show. Um, the best way for more people to find us is to subscribe and download us every week and give us a review. So also, if you give us a review, and, and no matter if it's good or bad, we're probably going to read it. Because if it's bad, we're going to make fun of you and tell you how stupid you are. And if it's good, we're going to tell you how much we love you and, and how much we appreciate that you're, you're, you're letting other people know that you love us and you love Scott's hair and you love Tim's beard and you love my angriness and you love Mikey's jokes and you love Adam being laughy. So just get after it, all right? It all, it all depends on whether you're, you like pleasure or you're a masochist. If you're a masochist, leave us a one-star review. We're going we're well, to berate you. I will you. rail the fuck out of you. Have you ever heard me get mad? No, no one's ever heard that. But we're going to get used to it because if you give us a one-star review, I'm going to fuck you up. 
Also, go over to Instagram and Twitter. We're at Three Sheets Podcast. Check us out over there. Uh, some fun pictures. We post uh, our in-park pictures of the show. Uh, we post our in-park pictures on the Instagram. We post uh, just fun photos that we've had in the past on Instagram. It's a great way to just have a little Disney in your Instagram life. If you're scrolling through your Instagram feed, you'll come across one of our photos and it'll just remind you if you're happy time at Disney. So go check it out. But if you really want to interact with us, head over to the Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash three sheets. That's where you can become part of the three sheets nation. Make sure if you want to join us there, answer the three questions. They're really simple. Can't stress that enough. We want to make sure you know what you're getting into. It is a, it is a plethora of drunken debauchery. It is Disney. It's a lot of fun. But we just want to make sure you know what you know what you're getting into. Second, if you invite your friends, and we have like 13 uh, potential members waiting in the queue that are all invited by the people. If you've invited them, send them a message. Make sure they answer the questions. They may not know who we are, so if I send them a message, they won't get it. But if you send them a message, say, "Hey, I invited you. Go answer the questions. You're not going to regret it." Well, they might regret it, but you know, let them know that if they join, they can see my poll. He means uh, a question in which you answer, not his penis. Uh, I meant however they want to take it, Scott. Well, w- well, there is a video on Three Sheets to the Mouse Facebook page of you and a man in a shower. Yeah, no, so. that's that's a thing. It we both have beards. It's it gets kind of weird, but uh, you know, it's it's at the Polynesian, so it's still Disney, right? Yeah, it's Disney related. Two boys, one shower. Uh, but go Boys. over there, interact with us. <laughs> Scott. Scott looks fucking 12, and he's going to call me a boy. That was supposed to be subtle. <laughs> well, it was about as subtle as an elephant in a pink room. <laughs> uh, but if you want to interact with us, get over to the Facebook group. That's where you'll find us, facebook.com slash group slash three sheets. And if you're on the Facebook group, Subscribe to the podcast. Uh, other than that, Trenton, give me some closing remarks tonight. Closing remarks. Uh, quickies are fun. I love these episodes. Um, it's it's this is one of those things that it was one of my ideas early that I think people wanted wanted more content, and we're trying to give you more content. And if you like the content that we're giving you, make sure you let us know on the Facebook page. Message us. Uh, post on the Facebook page, um, post in the iTunes reviews that you like the content that we're giving you. Tell us if you like the content, you like more content, give us suggestions of which content you want to hear. I'm going to try to keep saying the word content a bunch of times. I feel like it sounds funny when I say the word content. So just give us content reviews and keep contenting on and um, let us let us know how you, you sound like you're at a, at a tech conference or a uh, corporate gathering a syn- of synergy and logistics. I'm like at the the the, the debut of Windows 95. I'm gonna start fucking <laughs> slamming yeah. my fist down and doing fucking Tupac dances. But you're not. But you're not wearing a black turtleneck. I'm not. Uh, I do have a Polynesian uh, uh, Hawaiian shirt on. Jersey. Though. Polynesian jersey. It's, it's a great shirt. It I is. I look fucking great in it. But let us know. Yeah, no. Let, let us know which content you like. Let us know what you don't like. Let us uh, t- tell us what you what what you want to hear. That's what we want. Message us, comment, review. Yep. Uh, so from all of us here at Three Sheets of the Mouse, thank you for making our show a part of your Disney life. Thank you for your time this time. And until next time, so long for just a while. And thank you! I just tore the button off my fucking pants. I went to unbutton them and it fucking ripped off.